All right, so I hope this is the last time I make a video about the carbon, well, the Bamboo Lab box machines exhaust because I've exhausted all my uh, energy on this. After many iterations, uh, some of you have pointed out to me that I got it wrong, and for that I apologize. I do agree I got it wrong. There are no circumstances that I can think of where you want to capture the air over here, and the reason is because the air flows out here when you don't have a carbon filter in and if we're capturing exhaust there's no reason to have a carbon filter so uh, i'm about to show you how i arrived at that and if you're interested in that watch that and i'm also going to show you the new exhaust system this is the latest and greatest it's the same as what was in the past uh called the p1s exhaust but it's now p1s and uh, X1 series exhaust that's posted already and today's uh, October 31st uh, 2024 and I finished this but I haven't posted it yet it's the exact same version only with more room behind it designed for a multi AMS so if you've printed the one that exists already you're good to go leave it but if you haven't printed one yet or you need to incorporate the multi AMS then the newest system has more room there. The multi AMS, if you don't know, um, has the, a larger mechanism here that you replace this one with, and that allows you to run a second AMS. And while, you know, we didn't know we needed an AMS until the last few years, now I might need two. So it's nice to have that future proof. You've got that there, and I have run into a few people who have them already. So uh, for those, you got that. And um, I apologize again if you printed the previous one for this side. It was a bit of a waste for all of us. And let's just call it a learning experience. And so, yeah, let me show you how the exhaust, how I arrived at understanding the exhaust. And then, um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments. With your carbon, X1 carbon, I was quite confused about the exhaust flow having already made exhaust systems both for the X1, which I had coming, capturing exhaust over here, and for the P1S I had capturing exhaust over here. And then reading online and people would say, well, it's exhausting here, but I saw for myself it was pulling in air on this side. Uh, but that's where I was wrong. It isn't really, it kind of is, but it isn't really. And here's the hint, here's the thing. the the machine behaves quite differently when the carbon filters in and when the carbon filters out. And if we're capturing exhaust to send outside, then there's no reason to have a carbon filter in it. And the machine runs better without the carbon filter. In other words, the exhaust works better without the carbon filter. So my solution to all of this is do not use the exhaust system I have built for the X1 that captures at the poop chute unless perhaps you're gonna keep a carbon filter in and I can't imagine why you would do that if you're capturing the exhaust. And even still, it, it might not be the right solution. The way I kind of got to the bottom of it is I built these two uh, funnels that are just uh, magnetic on there. And then on each one, I put a piece of tissue and I ran the machine. I ha I've already run it. I've created a video snippet I'll insert um, that shows what's happening when the machine's running kind of stable. And as you can see here, it's printing right now. There's a little bit of airflow coming out where the fan is and a little bit of airflow going in in the poop chute, which is kind of reverse. But I think what's more interesting, well, not more interesting, but also interesting is to show what happens if you just put the fan on in the two conditions. And I'm gonna do that now. And when I put the chamber fan on, this is with the carbon filter in. And you can see the machine sucks the air in, and this is with the carbon filter installed. And this is what I had done. I had never taken out the carbon filter. I just thought, oh, I'll keep it in until it's exhausted and then I'll throw it away. But this is what drove me to say, hey, we got a problem. The exhaust has got to be coming out there because I had observed the air going in here. But even though the air's coming in here, you can see there's not really any air coming out over there. And that's why I don't want I don't recommend anybody use my previous exhaust system that was designed for the X1C that I had. I was using it as well, mounted over on the poop chute side. 
And so, just want to be clear, that's what this looks like with the carbon filter in. Now let me take the carbon filter out. And I'm just going to turn this off for a second. Take the carbon filter out. And then I'll put back on the, uh, the fan. And look at that. Now you've got air flowing out, but really aggressively coming out over here. And it is drying air in here, but that's kind of irrelevant. We don't care. All we wanted to know is it wasn't coming out there. And so the takeaway for me of all of this is the exhaust system that I designed for the P1S is also appropriate for the X1, X1 Carbon. And so I uh, had to go reprint mine because I had recycled the original print because I wasn't going to use it. I'm going to put the exhaust system back on. I'll show that for anybody who hasn't seen that already. And um, yeah, I mean, I think this is the solution. And, and then hopefully that's the end of it. Again, I apologize to anybody who printed the prior exhaust system. None of the parts are reusable in the new system, in the system for this side. Um, so you have to, you know, reprint it all. I, I'm just printing mine in PLA, I think, and on minimals, like your default settings, two wall thicknesses, like 15% infill. You're not really doing much with it, so um, it's pretty lightweight. Yeah, there you have it. So I think that's my definitive answer to this whole thing is that the exhaust comes out on the fan side. And many people tried to tell me that, but I was like, I've looked at my machine, it's going in there, but it was only because of this, the carbon filter. So get rid of the carbon filter and the machine behaves, I think, in a much more stable way and it um, is all good to go. Making matters even more annoying is that um, if you put the LED lighting in already, you have to undo them because they're now facing the wrong way. And if you'll notice, I don't know if you can see them, but there's little slots in these uh, LED carriers. And now that I've pulled that off once, the adhesive's not gonna be as good. You can put a little uh, zip tie around the LED and this part through that slot. That's what that's there for. So that'll make these stay on a little better now that the uh, adhesive's been a bit fatigued. So the system that was uh, previously labeled P1S um, I'm relabeling it now as P1S and X1 series exhaust. That system looks like this, and um, it's 100% good for your X1 series machine as well. But I am now just releasing the newer version of this, and the only difference is it allows for that multi-AMS. The multi-AMS, if you don't know, allows you to have a second AMS unit attached and it's much larger, this component. And so there's more space required and a little bit clearance closer to the fan. So if you have this, you're good unless you want to add the multi AMS. If you add the multi AMS, use my new design. And if you haven't printed anything yet, use the newer design because if you ever want to upgrade, you're good. It doesn't matter. They work the same. It just creates more space in, in behind here. So the old system you can just snap off or if you're if you don't have it already you would uh, install the frame and it's the same frame for the P1. This is, hasn't changed at all. It's the same P1S frame now P1S and X1 series. The old funnel had some print stability issues and to address that I've put more material on the area here and a handle. The handle wasn't really needed, but it supports the, the print like this. And because the center of gravity is a little bit offset here, that handle helps. So I just printed this today and it printed really well. Uh, but if you're having print problems, add a brim to this inside and out. It's easy to remove once you finish printing because it's a simple part. And then that just slides onto the, 
the uh, exhaust header here. There's two tabs, one on each side. They snap under the lip of that and that's now in. And then the new fan cover, instead of having the eight magnets, the new one has three on the top, four on the bottom for seven, because there's a notch here for that multi AMS component. And then that just slides in and it's you're done. This support is just the fan support. It just stops this from sliding down. You don't need it, but if you have any issues with that, you can drop that in, print that, and you're good to go. So that's the new system, and it's really good. Uh, I like how it's working. It's got lots more space in behind here, so your, your um, wiring and tubes are in their natural position, and it's kind of future-proof because it's ready for that multi-AMS unit. So that's good. So again, I uh, apologize to anybody who built my earlier version and shared this journey with me. A bit painful of all the printing that's happened uh, because I've been printing all the different systems and trying to test them and it's been a bit of a journey. So I apologize if you uh, did that and have wasted some print time and print material. Uh, but I think we've got a good system now and uh, I'm happy with where that how that all fits together now and sits. Uh, but with that said, if you have any suggestions or changes or edits or thoughts, uh, please share them with me. Happy to explore them and, um, you know, happy printing.